Uh, it's sneaker reselling channels. What up, bone dogs? Bone, bone, bone dogs. Today we're gonna be looking at sneaker reselling, one of the stupidest and worst trends on YouTube. I've watched this little sneaker reselling trend go on for almost a decade. It seems to only be getting bigger. This crap, this is stupid crap. Now look, I have to say, on this channel, we usually kind of make fun and look at people who you would call punching up, people with millions of subscribers, and there are much bigger fish than this. Wall Street weirdos, Epstein perverts. But this is still out there and oh boy is it annoying. The ideal that we're taught for markets is that you're creating value. You're creating value, you're creating some business, some product or service that helps people, that some, it's something that they get enjoyment out of or something that they need. This is like the opposite. The value that sneaker resellers create for society is as follows. Somebody wants to buy a thing. Sneaker resellers jump in front of the people who want to buy that thing, buy it as quickly as possible, then turn around to that original person who wanted to buy the thing and says, here, I'll sell it to you for even more. Very valuable service that they're creating for society that really improves society. You see those pictures, those memes of a utopian society. They're really pushing us toward that. They got the bone on there. Look at that. That's the bone job right there. So there are literally frillions of videos online about this. How to make, get a billion dollars. Flip sneakers. Jump in front of somebody who wants to buy sneakers and then get the, sell it to them for more. That's what Billiam Gates did. That's what Elon Musk did too. And what all these videos say to do is basically to download a stupid bot or an app but for now anyone who wants to start sneaker botting this video is going to be your guide to get you started or to even open a bunch of tabs on your computer and to have several computers you want to open up one tab in the waiting room on the yeezys you want in every single browser on your computer also if you have another computer or a phone i would also throw that into the mix if you open up a tab in every single browser on your computer and also use another computer or a phone you will have five to ten chances at securing a pair of Yeezys and like three different phones and then a landline and then a, one of those old army phones and then the brick phone like Michael Douglas had in Wall Street like all that you need all this crap so that you can keep pulling it up so that maybe when they release a shoe a fancy ass shoe you could buy it quickly and then jack up the price to everybody who wasn't able to buy it again really providing value for the community the other thing that's really funny about this is that their customers, I guess you could call it, the people who collect these fancy pants sneakers, oh, I got those new Travis Barkers, mmm. The people who actually collect that stuff hate these people. They're universally hated, but the, the people that they're theoretically serving, selling these sneakers to, absolutely hate them. Blame the botters and the companies not doing anything to stop them. It makes me sick, personally. Resellers get in the way of honest collectors. I don't have a problem with someone selling a shoe they bought. Resellers buy all by the, the shoes at a retail price, making it too, too expensive for a normal sneaker. Middle Manning at its finest. Someone is buying shit and selling it to you without adding any value to the product. See, it's like this, and they put a lot- Whoa! No! And of course, these stupid sneaker companies aren't uh, off the hook with this whole thing either. The thing is, the brands can certainly fix it, but they love the clout they get from people going crazy for their product. They could easily produce and put a huge dent in the resale market, more especially with their slave labor, but just don't because they like the buzz. I really honestly- I don't remember how I fell into this rabbit hole watching these videos, but um, the funniest thing about them is that there's thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of these videos, and they're all intro to selling. Make a hun turn a hundred dollars into, this is literally, I saw this like over and over again, turn a hundred dollars into $10,000, sell, reselling sneakers. And so they're all intro, get rich, quick videos. How easy is it to get money reselling sneakers? Too easy, basically. If you just do the math on this, this is kind of a big economic problem to sustain this at all. Because the more people that you're pulling into with these intro to selling video, selling, reselling sneakers videos, 
the less likely this is to work for anybody because the whole key here is to find undervalued sneakers at thrift stores or wherever and then resell them by jack them up a way bunch or you go to these raffles and then win them and then jack up the price so now you have more people at the raffles lowering the chance that anybody gets to win it in a raffle and now you have more people searching for it at thrift stores which lowers lowers the chance that anybody will find them I'm not saying you're dumb or you're bad, it just seems like an absolute dumb waste of time. A mind-numbing, dumb thing that you would only do to make money. There's got to be something better to do. I don't know if you're familiar with the song, Every Day I'm Hustling. That song's basically, it sums it up, of what I'm doing. The other song that sums up my life is Rollin', because I'm hustle. I get rolling on the hustle. So those two songs, I feel like those are big influences on me. This is a very Charlie Rose background. If Charlie, if I ever get on Charlie Rose, is he still alive? If I ever get on Charlie Rose's show, I'll just tell him that Rollin' and Every Day I'm Hustlin' that was the influence for everything that I did, that he's interviewing, interviewing me about. Hey everybody, and thanks so much for watching this video. Like all the other YouTube and podcast perverts, I now have a Patreon. Every week on this Patreon, I'm uploading two exclusive Patreon exclusive shows. They're like real shows, more produced, more edited. A behind the scenes show where I reveal all my secrets and a show where we go deep on an important topic that you will want to know about. And at the top level, for only 25 bones, you can become a producer. These people that you're seeing right here make this program possible. Without them, nothing. It goes right in the toilet, right, 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 right,